Hey everybody, I am back. Hello, I'm Heather and I am the CEO and founder of Eden Lux Bridal and we are talking today about luxury hair accessories and earrings and bejeweled baubles that you can wear both to your own wedding and to anybody's wedding or any special event great for summer. And I am going to jump right in and show you my favorite crown. I just want to make sure that I am on the chat link so that if anybody would like to drop a comment in chat, um, I can say hello. Let me just make sure that I can see everybody. Hello. Okay. And we're live. Yay. Awesome. So I'm going to show you my absolute favorite crown of late because I've actually been wearing it. I went to Kleinfeld um, last week for a trunk show and I went to the ballet with uh, some friends of mine and I wore this crown both at the ballet and then also another day <laughs> out to dinner. We all wore crowns just because, and it's New York, so nobody really cares. So, this is the Channing, and the sparkle of the Channing is absolutely resplendent. And it's more of an everyday tiara, if you're going to wear a tiara every day, versus... I know that all of you who have been here before have seen my favorite of all time, the Petite Persephone. This is not an everyday tiara. This is more of a special event tiara. <laughs> Whereas this is like an everyday tiara. I was completely comfortable wearing it to the ballet and it was wonderful and comfy and I can go like this and it doesn't fall off my head. So it was... Um, very, it's a very easy to wear piece, lightweight and not um, heavy on the head. And if someone can drop a comment in chat, just so I make sure that I'm actually live, um, because I'm not seeing anybody comment, and usually most people do, drop a comment. And let me see. Anybody, just type hi <laughs> so I know I'm live. Or if the talk shop live people want to just text me and make sure I'm live, I'm pretty sure I am. Anyway, Channing. This is an amazing simulated diamond crown. There we go. Now you can see all of her sparkle. And this is one of my favorites of late. Again, more of an everyday tiara as far as tiaras go. And with the Channing, I'm going to put on a, a pair of earrings that I absolutely love and that are really fun. And whoops, okay, I just dropped one of those. Okay, so these are the Jasmine earrings. And these are very versatile simulated diamond earrings. The sparkle is incredible. And here, let me hold them up so you can you can see them. They also have a necklace that goes with it and I'm going to put it all on so I can show you. And let's see. Okay, here we go. These are the jasmine earrings and I will take my glasses off so you can see it all together because tiaras and glasses are not friends. Don't ever wear them together. They look terrible. Even the queen cannot pull that off. God rest her soul. Or any queen, for that matter. No glasses and tiaras or headpieces. Okay. So this is what the jasmine earrings look like with the Channing crown. And there is a jasmine necklace that also goes with that. Hold on, let me put my glasses on so I can actually see in my tray. Okay. So... This is the jasmine necklace, and here we go. Whoops, there, now it's untangled. The jasmine necklace, let's turn it around so you can actually see the front. There we go. Okay, so this is an all simulated diamond and rhodium plated necklace, and for those of you who are just joining, um, the 
uh, stones that we use are top quality stones because cut color and clarity in simulated diamonds matter just like they matter in regular jewelry so I'm going to just put this on hold on let me see okay there we go I'm just gonna put this on I'm not gonna clasp it because we'll be here forever trying to do that but so you can see how beautiful that looks and that's a really beautiful set. The necklace can be worn alone. You can wear the earrings alone. These are the type of jewelry that you will have for many years beyond your wedding or just wearing them as a guest to someone's wedding once. You'll be able to wear them and enjoy them for many years to come. So again, these are the jasmine earrings and I was holding up the jasmine necklace. This is the, the Channing crown, which has become my everyday crown <laughs> I love it okay so we're gonna move on and for those of you who have just joined us hello welcome thank you for shopping and stopping in I'm Heather and I am the creatrix and CEO of Eden Lux Bridal and we're talking about all things luxury hair accessories bejeweled baubles and things that you can wear both to your own wedding this summer and also as a wedding guest or to other events like I wore this to the ballet in New York City the other day and it was absolutely spectacular and it really it didn't feel over the top or costumey at all it was absolutely perfect and I've actually had clients who have purchased crowns and tiaras to wear to the ballet, to the opera, to the ball in Vienna, the Viennese ball that they have every year, among many other events. So we're going to move on. Hello, Natasha. Thank you for messaging and stopping in. I appreciate it. Welcome. And we're going to move on to the next piece, which I pulled for you, which is I actually made a list today. So I could be somewhat organized because I know I do jump around a lot um, based on what I'm just loving that's in front of me at the moment. Okay, so we're going to go on to the Anne Halo Simulated Diamond Halo Tiara. And the Anne is incredibly wearable, both as a wedding guest. I have worn this in my hair at someone's wedding and it was beautiful and was not a overshadowing the bride kind of moment because you don't ever want to do that. Hello, Kendall. How are you? Thank you for stopping in and saying hello. I appreciate it. Mm. Okay, there we go. I'm getting a little parched. So this is the Anne Halo Tiara, and these are all prong set. Beautiful. Hold on, Kendall. Yeah, for your mermaid costume last Halloween. Honestly, I mean, once you have a tiara, there is no excuse in your life. Hello, Amelia. How are you? There's no excuse for you to wear a crappy paper, happy New Year's hat, a weird cone, happy birthday thing, or any other bizarre, yucky, plastic headpiece. Never. Once you have a tiara, you have one forever. And the reason that you have it forever when you get them from us is because of the construction, which I'm going to show you. All of the stones, so these are all simulated diamonds, very high-end, top-quality stones, and they're prong set. So just like in diamond jewelry, it's set in prongs, and these are made just like fine jewelry and it's rhodium plated very nicely and thickly so that this is not going to turn it's not going to peel it's going to last for a lifetime and you will be able to enjoy it for many years and many events to come so these kinds of head pieces i have worn them both like kind of put them on like that more like a traditional headband or um, I have worn them, I kind of pull my hair like this and then pop it in this way and then just tuck like that. And that's a little bit more dressy and chic versus like a headband, headband style. 
So again, this is the Anne, and I'm gonna put on a pair of earrings with it so you can see how when you wear different types of earrings, you can change the look of a headpiece just by changing the earrings. So I'm gonna show you, these are the olivine earrings. So these are also simulated, oops, hold on, simulated diamond earrings, and you can see how amazing, this is my wedding band. So that's what these earrings and jewelry looks like next to real diamond jewelry. It looks real, which is the whole point because personally, I don't like when costume jewelry doesn't look real. I mean, unless it's, it's a piece that's supposed to not look real. And girls, you know what I mean. But this pair of earrings with this headpiece, so this gives it more of a party look. So I'm going to put these on. And again, I'm talking about the Olivine simulated diamond statement earrings. And this on my head is the Anne Halo Tiara. Okay, so these are the Olivine. And this gives it more of a um, statement-y, fun kind of look. And then if I put on a smaller earring, like the Cressida earring, and this is also a simulated diamond earring that's prong set. So this is a bit more of a conservative earring because it's smaller. And again, all of these pieces can be worn alone. Um, I've worn all of them to something or another over the years um, because I love them, which is why they're part of the collection. Anything that I don't love or wouldn't wear isn't part of Eden Lux Bridal. That's the benefit of being the creatrix is that I get to decide what's part of the collection. Okay, so back to this. So this is the Olivine, the Anne party. Then we have something that's more sedate and more classic because we've gone with a shorter, more compact earring that's like sort of a stud, sort of not, but this is a more conservative look that I've created here versus this one. And both of these earrings are absolutely stunning and can be worn for many different occasions without a headpiece. So this is, I'm just wearing a blazer and a tank top. The Olivine, I've worn this out to dinner, just plain, no headpiece. I've worn it with jeans. This is something that if you're working in an office environment, um, this looks great for a dressy meeting or for any event with or without a headpiece. So we're going to move on. And while we are talking about regular things, if you could please hit the follow button so you know when we go live, that would be amazing. I would greatly appreciate that. And then you won't miss any new drops or interesting announcements that I make because I am always showing new things that aren't even on the website yet that are either about to launch at Kleinfeld because I go there constantly for trunk shows and they have a huge swath of our collection there. And I I'm going to show you something right now. Shh, don't tell anybody. That. Oh, Sansa, hey, how are you? Welcome. Good to see you. This is something I made last night. I had a little bit of insomnia. So this is a headpiece, all simulated diamonds, and this is called Claire. Um, one of my friends and one of the salespeople in the accessories department, Rachel, who is amazing. She actually helped me name these today. So this is the Claire Large and the Claire Small. And these are brand new as literally of last night. And I'm just gonna, hold on. Oh, sorry. I'm just gonna pop this in my hair like this so you can see what it looks like. The Claire, that's the large piece. And then the small piece will pop in on this side and you can see what that looks like. Just made these last night. I am going to be sending these to, after I photograph them tomorrow, I'm gonna to send them, if I can get it out of my hair, <laughs> send them to Kleinfeld so that they can display these beauties and you can go visit them and try them on yourself. They are in New York City and will be there by next week. Okay. We're gonna move on. Thank you, Sansa, for the compliments. I appreciate it. 
So let's talk about some pearl pieces because pearls are classic and beautiful and having a huge moment again in bridal and also just in special occasion in general. And I want to show you a piece that actually lives at Kleinfeld and this is called the Bettina and it is really cool. I love this headpiece. It's like mainly a pearl statement piece and it's just has a little bit of sparkle. It's not a hugely sparkly piece, which those of you who have watched before are like, oh, what's wrong with you? Why is it not a hugely sparkly piece? Well, you know, even sparkle girls, we need to have choices. So they're sometimes very rare, but albeit there are times where I'd prefer something a little more sedate than my everyday <laughs> tiara like the Channing crown. So this is the Bettina, and this is a crystal adorned headpiece. The leaves, I hope you can see it in focus, but the leaves have just kisses of crystals on the tips, and um, they surround these creamy faux pearls that are beautiful, and they're not going to flake and chip. I do not use crummy cheap materials in the construction of our products because I personally as a consumer can't stand them. I think they look terrible. If I'm going to spend money on something in general when I shop and buy things whether it's shoes, clothes, whatever, I would rather buy a classic piece that costs more money that I'm going to be able to wear for years and years and years and years and years. And I have things in my wardrobe that I've had for 15 or 20 years that are literally a classic piece that look stunning and I spent a lot of money, but the reason I still have it is because I spent a good amount of money up front for a well-made classic piece that I can get a lifetime of wear out of. And it looks just as beautiful, right Sansa? I mean, we talk about sustainability and honestly, I mean, fast fashion is not, it's not a good thing. It's really not. Because it's going to fall apart. And, and I'm guilty of buying things from fast fashion myself. But every single time I have, I wear it once, wear it twice. If I'm lucky, I get three wears out of it. And it falls apart or breaks or something falls off of it. Or it just starts to look really crappy, to be honest. And it's a waste of money. Like I have a pair of sequin pants that I love that I bought from a uh, store that begins with the same name, the same initial as my first name, which is Heather. I will go no further, but I wore them twice, once to an event and once at Kleinfeld for one day and they have fallen apart. So now they're in the garbage heap because they're not even fixable. Which brings me back to well-made accessories. Super important, important for sustainability, and plus who wants to wear junk anyway, right? Okay, let's move on to a necklace and earring set that I want to show you. This also is at Kleinfeld, and this is the Courtney, and these are freshwater pearl pieces and earrings. So... I love these. They are really versatile and really delicate. And I'm just going to pop them on so you can see. And then I'm going to show you what else they go with because I pulled a bunch of different pieces. I'm just going to put one of the earrings on for you and then hold up the necklace so we're not here wasting time with the clasp. Okay, so this is a necklace that you can actually wear every day and earrings that you can wear with jeans and a t-shirt. I mean, it's way dressy right now because I have a headpiece in, but I've had clients, bridal clients, wear this with their dress. They were going for just a very simple, delicate look. I've had clients wear this to their rehearsal dinner because again, we need to adorn ourselves for all of the events that are surrounding our wedding. And um, this, again, is something, this is the Courtney necklace. It's a simulated diamond prong set necklace with a, oops, sorry, freshwater pearl. There we go. On the bottom and the earrings. Beautiful set, extremely versatile. You will have this for a lifetime and be able to enjoy it. And again, sustainability, 
buy things that cost a little bit more money that are and they cost more because they're well made and you get what you pay for in life i have learned that the hard way as a consumer and also as a designer so this is the courtney necklace courtney earrings and then i'm gonna show you these cute little hairpins that are called the Coset Freshwater Pearl Hairpin Set. And these are just super simple pieces. So you can take a hairpin and just pop it in your hair like that in one place. And then oh, pop the other one in next to it. Hold on, it's hard for me to see what I'm doing on the camera backwards. But anyway, you get the idea. I'm gonna hold it up so you're not watching me struggle. But you can put a couple of sets next to each other. They look really cute, staggered, and they go beautifully with these earrings. Again, the Courtney. I've also worn these, now I have hair in my lipstick. Um, I've also worn those hair pins. I braid my hair a lot when I'm working in the studio because I work with um, a Dremel and a drill and I don't want loose hair around power tools. That is not a good idea. So I braid my hair a lot on the side and I don't like boring things as you can tell since I own a TR company. And um, I like to use these even just alone in the studio in my hair and put a bunch of them and stagger it because just again, because it's every day doesn't mean it shouldn't be cute. So Coset hairpins, they're available in silver and also in gold. And this is the Coset in gold. And these are all hand wired on bobby pins, easy to use. And we're gonna move on from the Courtney earrings and necklace set to the Courtney bracelet. That's a beautiful segue <laughs> right into that. And this is the Courtney bracelet. And this is a simulated diamond bracelet with freshwater pearls that looks incredible with the Courtney necklace and the Courtney earrings like that. Okay. Also, I wanted to show you the Cosette headbands, which are a grouping of headbands. There is a petite small one that you can just pop in your hair, classic plain pearl, and a larger one that you can stack in your hair. Look how cute that is. That's just such a simple way to dress up your outfit. And again, you don't have to be a bride to wear these. You can wear these to someone else's wedding. You can wear them out to dinner. You can wear them for anything that you would oops ouch that you would like to okay so we're going to go on to another headpiece that i wanted to show you which is the jacqueline so this headpiece is available at kleinfeld now this is something that is traditionally bridal in its construction and a lot of brides wear it like this on their hair or on this side accenting long Hollywood waves. It looks amazing. And this is a crystal, a hand-wired crystal headpiece with fresh water pearls in it. And I love the versatility of this. It's bendable and like you can, if you don't like that shape, you can actually bend it and make it into a different shape in your hair. And the thing that is cool about a piece like this if you happen to wear this at your wedding is you can wear this again you don't have to just stick it in a box and put it away you can reshape it and then wear it like if you're wearing a high pony or a bun or a high chignon to another event you can accent your hair accent your hair with that like that or you can accent the back of your hair or even a braid. Like it looks really pretty. You can be creative and use pieces again. Again, sustainability. You're gonna buy something that's very well made and made with beautiful materials. You should be able to enjoy it 
more than just the day of your wedding. So again, this is, whoops, the Jacqueline headpiece. And this also looks beautiful with the Courtney necklace that we were just talking about, the Courtney earrings, and the Courtney bracelet, which I just put right here. Courtney bracelet. Okay, so we're gonna move on to a couple of my favorite, I have a lot of favorites, don't I? Um, and this is something, I don't know if Rachel is watching, but we actually put a bride in this um, the other day at Kleinfeld. So this is the Samantha. I love, 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 love this halo headband. And the Samantha is all simulated diamonds, prong set, and it looks really cool. It goes with almost every type of wedding dress and every look. It just is one of those versatile pieces that look amazing. So the bride, um, we put her in the Samantha. The, the motif of the headpiece looked beautiful with her dress. And she had also tried on the Angelique, which is another headband that's a simulated diamond headband which has tapered baguettes all throughout. And she loved this, but this wasn't enough with her dress. It's beautiful, but for the style of wedding and the venue, it just, it was like pretty, but not quite woof, enough. So what we did was we stacked, which is really cool. And then you get a Demi bespoke headpiece. So look how cool this looks. So this is the Samantha in the back. And then this is the Angelique in front. And it just gives a really cool, and she's going to wear her hair up. And it looks amazing on her. This is the Angelique and the Samantha. And then she put it with the Victoria earrings, which I think I pulled, but I don't see them. So I'm going to put the Jasmine earrings on with it so you can see what earrings look like with this. But even this combination, like... I'm just wearing a blazer. You could completely go out to dinner in just this. No earrings or just a tiny little diamond stud. And this completely elevates your look from an everyday. And honestly, I have not washed my hair in a few days, if you couldn't already tell. If you throw a headband in, oh well, nobody knows because it looks cute. And you just kind of sweep your hair back, put some dry shampoo in it, and then you're dressed up and ready to go without having to curl your hair 50 times and do a million other things, which is boring and annoying. Okay, so now we're going to show these, these headpieces together in a more dressy look with um, a more statementy earring, which is the jasmine earrings. And why these go with this, a lot of clients are like, well, how do I know what goes with what? So the best way to figure that out, if you're not with a stylist like myself who's helping you out or someone working with you in a store, you look at the elements and the shapes. So this has, these have marquee stones in them and they are, it has like an elongated shape. This headpiece, the Samantha, has elongated shapes. This has elongated shapes and it becomes a harmonious balance. And that's what you're looking for. Things don't necessarily have to be matchy matchy. Like yes, the Courtney earrings and the necklace. Yes, this is a set that matches, but you don't have to wear things that, that are made to go with each other. As long as it creates a harmonious flow from the different elements within the pieces is going to look beautiful together. So again, this is the Samantha, the Angelique, these are the Jasmine. I'm gonna show you what they look like with a different pair of earrings so that you can see kind of what I'm talking about. And where did I put? Okay, well, the earrings I wanted to show you with that, I can't find them. But I wanna show you the Layla earrings with this to make a point of these have pearls in them, this does not. It looks beautiful together because of the shapes in the earring construction. Hold on, let me just put the earring back on so I can move my head without. So in the earring, yes, the earring is rounded at the bottom and it has a pearl in it, 
but in the, in the construction of the earring, there's stones where the shapes match the stone shapes in these pieces. So it looks beautiful together and it gives a more, the pearl kind of gives it a more conservative stayed look to it. Whereas this is a little bit more of a progressive party look. And again, if I take off earrings, when I went to the ballet and I wore the Channing crown, I didn't wear earrings at all because I wanted the crown just to stand out and I wore it with a white, like a cotton uh, wrap shirt that tied around my waist and a bow. It just kind of like wrapped and it looked amazing. It really looked amazing. If you want to see it, actually, you can go to Eden Lux Bridal's Instagram. And in the stories, I think there's um, there's still some stuff up there. And I also am friends with Jessica Frey, who a bunch of pieces are named after. But she's a photographer who actually, at one point in her life, was a Disney princess. She was Cinderella. <gasps> How cool is that? So she gave me princess waving lessons. Apparently there are specific techniques <laughs> that Disney princesses must use during parades. And they are more, she was like, clutch from here. And then it's all about the hands like, <gasps> and then you wave to the up here, then you wave across down here, then you wave to the little ones and wave to the little ones. <gasps> And I was like, oh my God, I got princess lessons. <laughs> it was so much fun. But anyway, back to the tiaras. My point is, again, I'm wearing super sparkly things in my hair that look like real jewelry and real diamonds that are all prong set, beautifully high end pieces with a blazer. And it looks really chic. And I could go to any event wearing headpieces like this and it would be perfectly acceptable um, to wear something like this. So I'm going to move on to a couple other pieces that I wanted to show you. And this one is also another one of my favorites. I know I have a lot of favorites, but that's why I put the collection together because I love these things. So this is the Gala. Please excuse the tag. This one was just at Kleinfeld, and there we go. Tag is hidden. So this is the gala, and this is also a super chic look. Again, black jacket, no earrings. I could be wearing a statement bracelet, and I pulled. This one is the Cressida bracelet. Absolutely stunning. The sparkle and all of this stuff, it just goes without saying. It's resplendent. It just, again, the construction of the pieces and the quality of the stones used, you can see how beautiful it looks against real diamond jewelry. And it's beautiful. So, I mean, a statement bracelet and a headband, no earrings, no necklace, totally chic. So, again, this is the gala headpiece. And this can be worn to a wedding as a wedding guest, worn as a bride, worn to Target because I wear things to Target all the time. There are many times, <clears throat> excuse me, when I wind up going to Target. Hey, Mary, welcome. Thank you for stopping in and shopping. There are many times where I'm making a headpiece or have crowns in my hair and I forget and I'm like, oh crap, Ola, I have to go. We need tape for shipping and don't have any. So I run to Target and I have a crown on and people are like, oh, it's you again. <laughs> My Target staff people that work at the Target near me, I think they're used to that by now. So let's talk about this piece, which is another incredibly beautiful and regal, chic headband halo tiara, which is called the Ivy. And this is really cute for a wedding, for a bride, or again, as a wedding guest, one of the things I love to do with headbands is just take a piece of hair, roll it to the back, do the same thing on the other side. I'm not gonna spend time doing it, but just so you can see, and then take a little bobby pin in the back, and then you just get a really chic, 
and easy two second updo as you can tell I really don't like I don't like doing my hair I find it to be a lot of work and um, I don't know I'm always late so whatever popping something in my hair um, that dresses it up and lets it look amazing even though it hasn't been washed for a few days is definitely something optimal in my book love that so again this is the ivy and this particular piece looks amazing with the Cressida earrings if you're going for something that is more sophisticated and sedate and you can even wear it with these which I haven't shown you yet these are the Mirabelle earrings and again I'm going to talk about shapes see this at the bottom this looks beautiful with the ivy because again of the shapes of the pieces and <clears throat> how it creates a harmonious aesthetic so we have the mirabelle earrings faux pearls simulated diamonds they're all prong set fine jewelry set yep that's the right way and then the ivy so i've had clients wear this to their wedding wear this for special events it's really a beautiful beautiful piece and very simple and easy to wear and that's the ivy and the mirabelle also with the mirabelle again it does not you don't have to wear pieces that have pearls in them although this one does not have pearls this is the Anne halo headband that looks super cute too and I could be going to I don't know anything really and this will work also will work with wedding gowns and as events um, that you want to go to and look dressy these earrings the Mirabelle also look beautiful with the Bettina which I showed you earlier which is a faux pearl headband that just has a tiny bit of sparkle kissing the leaves that enrobe the faux pearls in the headband they also look beautiful if you're going to wear something like the Jacqueline like that or even the Cosette. I like pieces of jewelry that are versatile and that again I can wear over and over and over again because I tend to buy pieces that are more pricey because they last and they're well made. I do not like stuff that is cheaply made or is gonna fall apart it just doesn't bring me joy to wear it and um, I know it's not gonna last and in general my style is not a super trendy kind of look it's more of a just I don't know the the pieces that have that like luxurious look but just you could be wearing a pair of jeans a t-shirt from Target and a beautiful jacket and a really really well-made beautiful high-end handbag it looks like a million bucks but you never know so again these are the Cosette headbands and they look beautiful although these are gold this is silver these come in silver as well and it looks beautiful together and I'm going to pop on my favorite crown of late one more time <sighs> my everyday crown this is a great piece I wore this also out to dinner and it is really very comfortable how sparkly is that I mean seriously look at that it's just beautiful and then if you really want to glam it up and zhuzh it up then we have necklaces like this so this one is the Brianna hold on I have it a little tangled okay so this necklace is the Brianna this looks like it just fell out of a royal vault and again when it comes to jewelry if it doesn't look like that I don't want it as part of the collection um, especially with statement jewelry so this one is ugh, like to die for absolutely to die for so if you're wearing a dress that is off the shoulder I mean look at that like oh, that just screams royalty to me <laughs> 
I love that. And this together, I mean, this is a lot. Not everybody would wear something quite so bling, but you can do it if you wear it with confidence and just own it. And I would not put a super long dangly earring with that because again, let's talk about shapes and proportion. We have the crown here and then we have an empty space here and then we have a big item here. So I would put with that a earring like this or honestly just a small stud, a diamond stud and call it a day and not wear something that is like really long. Like there are earrings actually, hold on, let me get them, that, where did I just put them? They're Brianna earrings that go with this and I can't put my hands on them right now. But anyway, they are more of a long earring. You can wear them with it and they look beautiful, but it's just, there's a point where the scales kind of tip to unbalanced and too much. So that's a workable look. Again, this is the Brianna necklace, and this is what it looks like with a dress and off the shoulder. I mean, how elegant is that? That is show-stopping. You walk in the room and people do that. They just look like, who is that? Who is that wearing that fabulousness? So again, the Brianna, and I'm gonna put my clothes back on and get redressed. And I'm gonna show you, let's see. Let me see how much time we have left. I'm gonna put my glasses on so I can actually see. And oh good, we still have some time. I'm gonna go through a couple things again really quickly and then we will wrap it up because I didn't wanna get too overwhelming with all of the pieces like I always do. And I figured I would keep it a little more simple this time and again, the Samantha, I've shown this one to you before, and I've shown it before because it is really one of my absolute favorite, favorite pieces. And this in particular is extremely popular with brides who have seen it at Kleinfeld as well as shopped our site. And the reason it is such a popular piece is because it is kind of a Goldilocks level, it's not really a headband, it's not really a tiara, and it goes with everything. So I'm gonna take this necklace off just so you can see it alone again, and it could be the star of the show. Hold on, there we go. Okay, bye-bye necklace. Okay, so the Samantha is amazing. And I've, I've worn this in the store at Kleinfeld, like it's just, it's a really cute headband to wear with jeans, any wedding dress, any wedding dress style, or this This is like more of a dressy way to wear it. Again, all of these pieces can be worn like a regular headband style, and they're beautiful for holidays. The holidays are coming and they will be here before you know it, and these pieces make amazing gifts because Nobody has headbands like this in their wardrobe for the most part, and anybody will appreciate something so beautiful and beautifully presented. All of our boxes are beribboned with a big, wide, bl pale blue satin ribbon. I love beautiful packaging and boxes and paper, and I've always been that way, and I feel like when you get a fancy present, even if you buy said fancy present for yourself, it should be beautiful to open. And then you also have a keepsake box to keep it in as well. So again, the Samantha, this makes a beautiful headpiece for the holidays, which I don't know about you, but I'm counting down the days until I can start decorating my house for Christmas. <laughs> I love it. I just, I've given up between like the Thanksgiving time period, I go in my house straight from Halloween, like as soon as the Halloween decorations are down, boom, it's Christmas. Like Thanksgiving is just kind of like a stopover along the way in the home decor because it's so, obviously I like sparkles, the lights are beautiful, I usually put a tiara or two in my tree and decorate 
my tree with um, both a conglomeration of Hogwarts and Harry Potter <laughs> items and tiaras. I don't know, but I make it work. It sounds really strange, but those are two distinct parts of me and things that I like in my own life and world. <laughs> so a little bit about me. Okay. So this again, Angelique, all of these are purchasable separately. You can just hit the buy button, make them yours, and um, they're going to last for many years. You'll be able to wear them for lots of things, including jeans, dress up, whatever. I'm gonna run through a couple, ouch, a couple more pieces very quickly, and then we will say goodnight. And then I am actually going to go play Fortnite because I didn't get to play Fortnite <laughs> when I was in New York at Kleinfeld because the internet is not fast enough um, in my room really to um, stream the games. Yes, I am an adult who loves to play video games. Sorry, I just do. It's fun. And Hogwarts, the Hogwarts game is amazing as well. I've been playing that too. Okay, the Ivy, simulated diamonds, prong set. This is the Anne, also simulated diamonds and prong set. Let's see what this looks like together. I don't know if I'm gonna like, no, I don't like it together. It doesn't really go, why doesn't it go? The shapes, people, the shapes. I mean, you could do it, not my favorite, but you could do it. You can do anything you want. That's the beauty. There's no rules. You don't have to have rules. And just do what you want. Wear what makes you feel beautiful. And when it comes to how you should wear your hair for your wedding, a lot of clients ask me, you know, well, how do I know? And just like you knew when you tried the dress on, um, and it made you feel amazing and beautiful and just gave you that like, feeling how you should wear your hair on your wedding day is how you feel most beautiful in it and how your fiance loves to see your hair and that is how you should wear your hair on your wedding day and the good thing is that a lot of people use a crown like this for their ceremony again this is the Channing and maybe you'll wear a crown with an updo or a chignon so it's a more formal look and then you have a second look where and this is a great way to get a second look without an expense of another dress not that it's bad to have another dress i love dresses but if that's not something that you can or want to purchase for your wedding you can completely change your look with a different headpiece and different jewelry and then you have a totally different look you take your hair down and now you're ready to party so those are my recommendations for pieces that you can wear at your wedding at other people's events and enjoy for many years to come and if anybody has any questions before i go please feel free to drop it in chat and again, please hit the follow button so that you know when we're going live. And soon we're going to be um, putting up some pieces probably in a few weeks that are great for the holidays because I don't know about you, but I like to start shopping. I know it's crazy. It's not even freaking August yet, but I like to start shopping early um, for the holidays because then it's not like from a financial perspective, like a huge shock where you're like, oh my God, what did I just buy? <laughs> Whereas you can pick up little things along the way and just put them away and then, plus then you're not like scrambling at the last minute for gifts and you can actually enjoy the season and not have to put so much stress on yourself. Oh my God, I forgot a gift for so-and-so. What am I gonna get? I can't find anything. This is sold out, whatever. It's so much easier to manage the gift giving financially and then also from a stress perspective is just pick up little things along the way. So I always start shopping in August. I know that's really early, but, and then at the end I just have to pick up a couple little gifts and it's a lot easier on many levels. So I appreciate all of you stopping in and saying hello and watching 
my sparkly show about crowns and bejeweled baubles and all kinds of gorgeous adornments. I will be back next Thursday at 7 p.m. Please tune in and watch again and hit the follow button so you know when we're going live. And that is the end of the show. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful evening and a wonderful weekend.